Tell you what, you give me your birthright and I'll give you the stew. Well, Esau was very hungry and didn't really care about the birthright at that point, so he vowed before God, I will give up my birthright for that stew. Whoa, 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 coach. I'm saying that's kind of crazy. I mean, how could Esau do that to his brother, you know? Yeah, coach, why would Jacob not just share that with his brother? Well, one day, when Isaac grew old and blind, he called Esau to him and he said, Esau, go hunt for some venison and prepare it the way I like it. And when I'm done eating, I will give you my blessing and you can lead the family when I die. Didn't Isaac know that Esau had sold up his birthright for a bowl of stew? No, and it gets even worse. <coughs> Jacob and their mother, Rebecca, tried to trick Isaac. And what they did is went and killed some lambs and prepared it just the way Isaac liked it. And then they dressed Jacob in some of Esau's clothes so he would smell like Esau. And they also put him in hairy lambs clothes so he would be hairy like Esau. Oh, that is low, daddy -o. What happened next, Dad? Well, what happened next, John, is that they did trick Isaac into giving the birthright to Jacob. And when Esau came back from hunting and found out what had happened, he was very mad. And so was Isaac. But the birthright had already been given. It could not be taken back. Jacob would lead the family when the father died. Esau must have been so mad. Jacob had ruined all of Esau's plans. Oh, he was mad, all right. In fact, he planned on killing Jacob when Isaac died. Oh, whoa now, coach. Come on now. That ain't going to turn out to be some Cain and Abel story now, is it? No, Jacob ran away and stayed away for many years. Did they ever see each other again? Well, many years later, Jacob wanted to come home, but he wasn't sure if Esau was still mad or not. He really wanted to make things right. So he sent a messenger to find out if Esau was still mad. Oh, I bet he was real angry though, right, coach? Oh, he was mad all right. In fact, Jacob's messenger came back and found out that Esau was going to send an army of 400 men to meet him. Whoa, coach, that don't sound so good. Nope, nope, could have been very bad. But what happened is Jacob prayed to God and asked to please give Esau a forgiving heart, and he even sent many of his animals to Esau to show his brother that he was very sorry for what he had done. Did it help? Well, as a matter of fact, when the two brothers met, Esau did not kill Jacob. He hugged and kissed his brother. He had chosen to forgive him. Wow, that is a huge thing to forgive. Yeah, that's a lot bigger than an exploding volcano project. Yeah, right, coach, that's a rocking story and all, but, uh, you know what? I'm thinking today's special. Families forgive. <laughs> Gee whiz, I guess it does seem kind of silly for me to be mad at Howie. It's not like he meant to ruin the posters. Anyway, it's not like I never make mistakes. That, that's right. And when Howie, he... Howie always forgives me. It's just part of being a family. That's right. And when we forgive others, God can work in our lives and the lives of those around us. In fact, he tells us in the Bible that we should pray and ask God to help us forgive as he has forgiven us. Well, thanks for the chat, everybody. I'm going to go home and talk to Howie. I need to forgive him and maybe ask for a little forgiveness, too. I might have said some things that weren't very nice when the volcano erupted. Well, hey, we'll see you later, Susie Q. Right on, Susie. Bye, Susie. Gosh, Susie, you sure are swell. <laughs> hey, John, why don't we go drop some plans for next week's game, all right? Hey, fellas, we're going to get out of here. We'll catch y'all later. Hey, bye, Coach. Bye-bye. Right, so, boys, can I interest you in today's special? Oh, well, I don't know, Debbie. I think we already had today's special. Oh, yeah? What's that? Today's special? Families forgive. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but uh, we're going to jet on down to the garage and work on some of our cool dance moves with the big sock hop. If you girls want to come on down and check it out, you're more than welcome. Yeah. Yo, Twink! Hey, can you close up shop? We're, go we're going out to go dancing. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go! <laughs>